Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Modric Chess. As you can see I am starting to explain the game vocally so that I can explain more of it and make our communication better. So without any delay, let's start the game. The game is from one of the most prestigious top tournament Tata Steel Masters which has ended day before yesterday. It is between Magnus Carlsen with white and Richard Rappert with black. So Magnus starts with the move e4, Richard played e5, knight to f3, attacking e5 and knight f6 attacking e4. This opening setup is known as Russian opening and it is also popularly known as Petrov's defense. Now Magnus takes the pawn, d6 attacking the knight, knight to d3. Here instead of knight d3, the main line is to play knight f3. But knight d3 is also played among top levels. Now knight takes e4, queen e2 attacking the knight, queen e7 defending the knight, and knight to d4 in order to play knight d5 threatening to attack the queen and also play d4 in order to develop this bishop now c6 preventing knight d5 and f3 attacking this knight it is the main move here and it is already played 14 times in the database before now knight to f6 d4 and bishop to f5 threatening to exchange the queens and then take the c2 pawn so Magnus played c4, h5, knight to c3 and knight to a6 in order to play knight b4 threatening to fog the rook and the king. And Magnus played king to f2. This is a novelty here and it is a totally new game allowing knight to b4. Initially in this position a3 was played in order to prevent knight b4 and the game goes like long castle, queen takes, bishop takes and h4 and the position is quite equal but Magnus decided to play king to f2 allowing knight to b4 and knight to b4 was played queen d1 open up this bishop long castle knight to d3 attacking this knight d5 and c5 Magnus can't afford to open up the position since his king is in the center and pieces are underdeveloped so rapid played knight cross d3 check Bishop takes d3 attacking this bishop and knight e4 check. A very nice and interesting move by Rapport sacrificing this knight in order to open up the position to attack the white king. You can't move the king here or here then your rook will get stuck. So Magnus takes the knight. T takes e4 attacking this bishop. Bishop e2 and queen to f6 with the threat to take this pawn since the queen is pinned and also some discoveries in the future for the white king bishop to e3 defending the d4 pawn and also in order to play queen a4 for some counter attacking chances on a7 pawn and now bishop takes e5 now you can't take this bishop since your queen is already pinned now rook to f1 in order to retreat the king to the safety on g1 square and rapid played queen to h4 check a mistake that cost Rapport the game as it helped the king to get to safety with a tempo to attack this bishop. Now instead of queen h4 the best move for Rapport here is bishop takes d4, bishop takes d4 and rook cross d4. Now it's no doubt that white is slightly better but black has a lot of practical attacking chances. But Rapport played queen h4 check and now king to g1 attacking this bishop and bishop to d6 the best move here according to the engines attacking h7 twice and also sacrificing this f5 bishop and magnus played rook cross f5 taking this free bishop here as there is no mate instead of rook cross f5 h3 is also a good move here but magnus played rook cross f5 Queen cross h2 check, king to f1. Instead of king f1, king f2 is a mistake because of queen g3 check, king f1 and queen cross e3. And now white has only slight advantage because of its material according to the engines. So Magnus played king to f1, queen h1 check, bishop to g1, g6 attacking this rook and now rook cross f7 with the idea to play queen b3 attacking this b7 pawn. Rook h to f8 attacking the rook, bishop c4 defending it, 
bishop h2 attacking this bishop twice king f2 defending it again and now rook cross f7 check bishop cross f7 and rook f8 attacking this bishop and finally queen b3 making use of this rook and also defending this bishop now bishop cross g1 check as there is nothing to do here instead of bishop cross g1 if you are wondering about the move e3 it is a mistake because of king cross e3 queen cross g2 and queen e6 check followed by bishop cross h2 and white is completely winning here so rapid played bishop cross g1 check and now rook cross g1 attacking this queen queen h4 check it's the only counter play black has right now king to e2 queen g4 check king to d2 and king f4 check attacking this bishop twice and magnus played king to d1 and now rook cross f7 taking this bishop but it's not enough since magnus has already an extra piece here now he played knight to e2 attacking the queen queen to f5 and finally queen to s3 now black must exchange the queens so queen cross h3 g cross h3 attacking this g6 pawn rook to f3 attacking the h3 pawn and rook to g3 attacking the rook and the pawn and in this position richard resigned the game as there is nothing to play he is already a piece down even though if black wants to continue the game goes like rook to f6 defending the pawn since exchanging the rook is instantly a losing end game now white will play king d2 in order to attack this e4 pawn king c7 king e3 attacking this e4 and if black will defend the e4 pawn then knight to f4 attacking the rook and attacking this pawn twice and eventually white will collect all the pawns yeah so that's it i hope you enjoyed the game and bye